pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What is point of view? Point of view is the perspective or eyes from which a story is told. First person point of view uses the pronouns I or my. If I was the character of the story, it allows me to describe events, other characters, and my own feelings through my eyes. For example, in the bracelet, Ruri tells the story from her own eyes and her voice. Second person point of view uses pronouns like you because the speaker is talking directly to the reader. Most of the stories we read in this class will not be in second person point of view. But some things like the class guidelines or instructions that you see around the classroom that are like commands are in second person point of view. Third person point of view is when the narrator is not a character inside the story, but describes the story by knowing about all of the events and characters in that story. Pronouns like he, she, they are used, or the name of the character is used as well. Most times, the narrator knows how the characters think and feel. For example, in All Summer on a Day, the narrator talks about Margot in the third person perspective. Therefore, the story is in third person point of view. For example, this is a quote from the story. They stood in the doorway of the underground for a moment until it was raining hard. Then, they closed the door and heard the gigantic sound of rain falling and tons and avalanches everywhere and forever. In this statement, Ray Bradbury, who is the author and narrator, is telling us what he sees as the narrator. He is telling us, he is showing us what is going on by referring to the characters as they. Situational mindset, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. The spring play is coming up. Auditions will be Wednesday and Thursday, March 27th to 28th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. This year's play is called The Audition. It is about a new theater teacher is bringing a production of a chorus line to the high school. Though the hopefuls range from shy to outrageous and from diva-like to determined, everyone has a chance to step out into the spotlight. A hilarious and heartbreaking look at the madness of auditioning and the actors who brave the process for the perfect part. Baseball and softball games for next week. Varsity plays April 1st here at John Muir. Athletes will be released at 3. They will also play on Thursday, April 4th at Rayford Johnson. Athletes will be released at 2 and best will leave at 2.15. JV plays Monday, April 1st at Sutter. Athletes will be released at 1.45 and bus will leave at 2. They will also play here at John Muir on April 4th with the release time of 3. Track and field schedule is as follows. Thursday, March 28th at McFarland. Athletes will be released at 1.15 and bus will leave at 1.30. The annual John Muir Middle School track meet will be on Wednesday, April 3rd. John Muir will be on a minimum day schedule instead of late start Wednesday. Students will be released at 12.30. Walk of the week is Yahid Vavavia in sixth grade. He was chosen by Mr. Kitson. Yahid is an excellent student who works hard in everything he does and excels in all of his classes. However, that is not why I chose him as my Walk of the week. Yahid is the leader amongst his peers and is always considerate of those around him. He is always cheerful, kind, and helpful to his fellow students. I could go on, but suffice it to say, I really enjoy having Yahid in class. This Friday's no call dress up day is holiday day. Dress up as your favorite holiday or what you would wear on your favorite holiday. Breakfast and lunch menu. Breakfast, breakfast, pizza, bagel, lunch, fiestada, pizza, frozen fruit cup, salad bar, fresh assorted fruit. Have a wildcat day and remember the wildcat ops. Respect for others, property, and self.